I just got a job interview. Struggling down the street, walking in my heels, trying to look nice. My hair is like blowing across my face. There is water everywhere and my hair bag is filling up with rain. Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Gabby, now looking a lot more respectable than when I did when I was in my pyjamas, but I was just so excited and I had to tell you that I just got a job interview. Now, if you watched the video I posted a few weeks ago about the struggles I'm having finding a job, knowing what I want to do with my life and all that fun stuff, then you're probably going to be really angry with me because you'll be thinking, oh, you do know what you want to do with your life. You've gone out and you're like trying to get a job and you know what area you want to be in. The truth is, I really don't. I watched that video back and it actually terrified me. I was like, what are you doing? You really have no idea. And so I just started applying for a heap of different random jobs because I was like, oh, I really need to find a job. I need to just start applying. And you will never, ever, ever guess where this job interview is because I don't even think it's something that I mentioned in my last video as an option that I want to do with my life. So I'll give you a clue. Actually, I'm just gonna give it away. I think in my last video I said how much I love travel. And yes, this interview is with a travel company and it's a full-time job. So I wasn't even sure if that's what I wanted, but now here I am a few weeks later going for an interview for a full-time job. So I guess this is where life's taking me. And I told you before that I believe everything happens for a reason and if this happens, it happens. Right now, this is where I'm meant to be. It's Tuesday today, and my interview is on Thursday. So I've only really got two days to fully prepare myself for this interview. So I need to start researching this company and learning everything about them because I don't really have any qualifications for this job that can possibly push my application further. So it's all gonna be reliant on me and what I say. And hopefully they like me, but I guess, We'll have to wait and see. It's interview day and I am so, so nervous. Oh my God, it's like, it's not till 10 and it's currently nine o'clock and I really wanna leave in the next five minutes. So I'm gonna do this really fast. I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. I have, well, okay, just like a plant, like a white blouse, a blazer, some plain black pants, a nice belt and some shiny, heeled shoes and then I hope my hair's all right I really don't know how to do like businessy style hair so I've just straightened it I've got like this little clip here I put some nice earrings in I've got my watch on I've got a necklace um I hope it's not too much but anyway here we go I'm in the car driving there and it looks like it's gonna rain and I'm so upset because this happens to me every time. I always straighten my hair and like do myself really nice and then it starts raining. And even if it's not raining, because my hair is so curly, whenever it's like humid because of the rain, it goes frizzy. So I really don't know how long it's gonna last and I'm gonna get in there looking like a drowned rat or just like a wild horse wild maned horse <laughs> oh my god you can tell i'm nervous anyway i'm gonna keep driving and thinking of what i'm gonna say and i will see you when it's done mate the struggle is real my umbrella's flipped inside out it's so windy i don't even know if i'm going in the right direction and it's pouring down rain <laughs> i'm back first off i should tell you how the interview went and i actually think it went really really well like i'm super happy with it i think from making these videos, actually, I've kind of-ish gotten better at getting straight to the point of what I'm saying and actually speaking properly. So, funnily enough, these videos have really helped me. But I think in my interview, that was a real positive. We also did group presentations where we had to pick a city and try sell that. And we picked Paris, which is good because I've actually been there. So I know a little bit about it. And I think I sold it well. <laughs> People were laughing anyway. God knows what I actually said. I went last. So I was just kind of picking up the little leftover scraps from what my two other the partners had said but people were laughing and I actually think it went really well so that's good and then I think I answered the interview questions all good like I'm really happy with it which is odd because normally I come away and I'm like maybe I could have done better but if I don't get this job I'm not even gonna be upset because I think I did everything that I can and if I don't get it it's not meant to be like, there's nothing I can do about that. It's not the right job for me. And if I do, then, of course, that's 
amazing. Anyway, back to getting there. So I filmed a little bit, which I will put in this video, so you've probably already seen it, but I was walking and first of all, I parked under Bondi Junction and Bondi Junction is huge and already I walked out the wrong way. So I was already going bad from the beginning. I think my maps, if I think I need to be walking a certain way to follow my maps, I should automatically go in the opposite direction because it happened twice just then and it happens every single time. I just always walk the wrong way. But it was pouring down rain and luckily I'd taken an umbrella, but I put my umbrella up and it immediately blew inside out. Great. So already my umbrella was so sketchy and it was blowing around and around and upside down and inside out. So that was already crazy. And then with this hand, I was trying to hold it down, but that funneled the water from my umbrella straight into my handbag. So then my handbag was filling up with water. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. Like, luckily I have a really good attitude today and I was just like, whatever like it's just funny so I was like oh well struggling down the street walking in my heels trying to look nice my hair is like blowing across my face there is water everywhere and my handbag is filling up with rain but I made it there with 15 minutes to spare and well I made it there in the first place which is a good start it was just really really funny now they said if I am successful they will get back to me um, early next week. So fingers crossed. I've done everything I can. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. That's fine. But I really, really hope I get this job. <laughs> I just need money. I just got a job. Oh my god. The two people, they want to call back. And I was crossing my fingers all night. That's so good, Gav. Thank you. Good. Yeah, I'm I... really proud of you, baby. Okay, I've calmed down a bit now. <laughs> I was so excited. I just didn't even know how to react. And I'm so annoyed because when I was on the phone, I had my camera sitting right in front of me on the table and I didn't even think to pick it up. I couldn't even think of what to say, let alone <laughs> what to do. It was a guy on the phone and oh, I had a little bit of an inkling last night that I might have gotten the job because I had a missed call. Well, my phone rang while I was at my waitressing job and I saw that it was an unknown number and I couldn't answer it because I was the only one working and I was in the middle of service so I couldn't answer it and then they left a voicemail and it was from that company saying that they'd like to chat with me when would be a good time and then I got home and I also had an email from them saying the same thing and I said I was available all day today so ring anytime you like and so I've been like waiting 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 but it was only 10 o'clock when they rang that was this morning so I didn't really have to wait long and then I answered the phone and he was like oh I'd like to offer you a position and I was like <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And then he was like, oh, you're welcome. Well, actually, before he even said that, he knew I was at work. I must have been talking to them and in the interview. Well, I was talking to them in the interview. And they were like, oh, what's on for this afternoon? And I said, I have to work. So I only had my interview yesterday. And then they were going to call me last night saying that I had the job, even though they said they would get back to me within the next week. So I must have been their first choice, which is so exciting. And I can't believe that I actually got it because... I really don't have any qualifications, so they must have just liked my personality and oh, I don't even know. Back to my phone story, so when I was on the phone and I just kept saying thank you, he was like, oh yeah, how was work last night? And I was like, oh yeah, it was good, thanks. And I was just waiting for him to tell me and then he was like, yeah, I'd like to offer you a position. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And he was like, oh, I'd like to give you a bit of feedback about how the interview went and why we chose you. And I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, Oh, so you just came across as like really friendly and your personality is really bubbly and with all of your travel experience that's exactly what we're looking for and the whole time I was like oh thank you yeah thank you and because the job is going to partly be on the phone and over emails I feel like I should have said something amazing but my brain was just in shock I had no idea what to say I was like uh -huh, thank you <laughs> and then I picked up the camera and I told you guys that I got a job and then I was just so excited I was like buzzing I ran out here and I told Anthony and one of his friends was out here as well because we actually went into the city to go shopping and they were waiting for me to get ready and I'm here on the phone I've spoke to them and then I spoke to my mom and then I spoke to my dad <laughs> I really was just wasting their time but anyway after I got off the phone I ran out here and I told them and literally my eyes were just full of tears I couldn't even 
believe it. I was like jumping up and down and I told them. And they were both just like, oh, congratulations. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. So that was a bit funny and a bit embarrassing. But anyway, it was just showing off my excitement. But now I just, ah, it's kind of sinking in a little bit more. Like I can't believe that I can actually start building a career for myself. This is so exciting. I also can't believe that I posted that other video a few weeks ago of the struggles I was having and finding a job and not knowing what I want to do. And now this is all happening and I just can't believe it at all. But I've only got two weeks now, so I have to go in to work tomorrow and quit my job. Oh, I've never quit a job before because I worked for my dad and... Yeah, every other job's just kind of been really easy to quit. But this one, I'm actually going to have to tell my boss that I quit. And that stresses me out so much. But it has to be done. I also have to go clothes shopping because I have no clothes for a job like this at all. I had to wear a uniform or like I was a dance teacher so I just wore like active wear. But now I need actual business clothes <gasps> and I love business clothes every time I go for an interview I buy a new outfit but I also struggle so much because I don't know what suits me and I just have no idea what to wear because I never wear this stuff but it's all a learning curve and it's something that I get to do in the next couple of weeks and I'm really excited so stay tuned because I've got some very exciting vlogs coming up because I've really only got two weeks left to like do absolutely everything that I want to do. Like two weeks of holidays, two weeks of go time, two weeks of just doing absolutely everything that I want to do before I start work. So watch out for those. They're going to be posted in the next couple of weeks as well. I'm just saying this now. I need to think of something to do, but I'm sure it'll all come together in time before work. Well, that's about all I have for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm sorry I am on such a high. I just can't, oh, I can't believe it. Um, if you're new around here, please subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new videos every single Wednesday and I will see you next week. Bye!